Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And I've done just a little bit of work on the uh, elevator. Added lights here to remind me which one of these blocks is the uh, appropriate landing platform. I also played around with the layout for a station. I'm not sure I like that though. And I figured out the elevator logic circuit. So, let's get started. Um, it's a fairly simple, although it doesn't look it, it's a fairly simple, simple design. We're going to start with making a clock. So we're going to make a, a clock, so we're not going to make the that basic of a clock. We're going to make a one that's a little more sophisticated. So we're going to go with a and a not, a activation module, and a delay. I can get rid of those because I'm not going to use them. So the... Activation goes to not, not goes to and, and goes to delay, delay goes to activation. Except I would like a second activation module that also goes to and. Why? So I can turn the clock off if I need to. Why can't you turn it off here? Because here isn't as reliable. As I say, it does correctly every time. Hmm. In the past, I found turning it off here. Yep, there we go. Hitting it just wrong um while it's cycling doesn't always terminate the clock but this will because it's not interfering with the uh not it's going straight to the end so it doesn't care what those two are doing anyway what else are we going to need we are going to need one two three four four of these activation modules except i actually want five all right let me show you how this is going to work before i get too excited this clock runs these three sensors. Here I have my miniature elevator with three landing points. This sensor checks this this display module against this display module. This one, this one, this one, that one. And when they're the same, it triggers this activation module, which also hits this button, which changes the what's here. The clock makes sure these fire every second or so. And then these come and hit my rails here. So to demonstrate, enter number one through three. So we're going to say number two. Okay, it's going to say thank you, enter a number, and move up. So what happened was that said two. This clicked, made the sensors check. It said, nope, not three, didn't activate. Nope, not one, then it activates. It said yes, two, and it activated this activation module, which forced this to say thank you, wait a second, and give its original data. It also hit this set of buttons, which told this rail to be sideways, so the elevator stops here. This one told all of it below it to go up, and this one all of it above it to go down. So if we were to say three, I told them all to go up because it's the top. And if we say one, I told them all to go down. Now watch it when we say two. There we go. So that's the basics of it. So we're going to build a big one. And we're going to need five of these guys because we have five floors. One, two, three, four, five. And let's... Stick activation modules here, and we're going to call them one, two, three, four, and five. All right. And from here, because uh, no, and I'm going to get rid of that and that logic as well. Because I don't need it. And we're going to build the logic for the rails here on each each floor. All right, so this is under. So this is the control level. So let's also grab a small activator. Why a small activator? No, you're right. A small button. Small button goes here, 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 and here. And I'd also like a couple displays. We're going to, this one say thank you. And we're going to tell this one, um, 
Enter, oh, where is it? There, now it says enter. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have to enter four, one through five. All right, so. Let's see, where's my button? Button, and then this is going to go to another button. And this button is going to go to this clock. The clock's going to go to that button. And this button is going to hit all of these display modules. And so is this button. All right, we're, we're working on it. One, two, that number after two, four, and five. So now when I hit this, they should all say thank you. Now they should all say enter floor one through five. Enter floor one through five. Floor one through five. And always chest, test your logic. Don't chest your logic. You don't need it in a chest. Besides, we don't use chest here. We use storage blocks. All right, so that was the fun part. Now let's wire all these up. So now they're always checking. And make sure we grab each of them here. And you don't have to wire this up to uh, to the activation module because it's just being adjacent is what uh, what matters. All right, so uh, 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 uh. tell you what, let's do this. Because that's not going to work right, is it? Because they all need to come to a central... Well, that's great if you only have one input, dummy. You have multiple inputs. Hmm... How, hold on. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, do that. No, that's that's not going to work properly. We could do this. Is not going to work properly either. Your brilliance has made you an idiot. Idiot. All right. So let's see. Because that would erase. All right. Hold up. We're working on it. Okay, we're going to have a... We're going to have to have a button here, aren't we? Yep. So we're going to ditch the clock and go with a button. Uh, the... Oh, caps lock is on. Then press button. All right, there we go. And each button is going to feed to this. There we go. And, and we're going to get here. And this is going to force all of these to trigger. And they are all going to check against this display module. All right, my brilliance is coming back. So if we set this to one, you hit this button, you'll see the one down there is actually activated as one. And let's fire these up as well so that they work. And all of these actually need to hit this as well. All right. So, now if we say this is 2, watch 2. Watch 2 as we... No, no, we're going to have to say 5 then, because... So, watch 5, and we go click, and it fires, triggers, all that. We're good to go. Okay. So, let's tell this one we would like to go to floor 3. Oh, duh. <laughs> they need to hit the right... Right, um, uh, 
hit the right button. Can that actually? Yes. No. Four. Yes, okay. Sometimes the buttons don't want to... The, the little buttons don't activate things properly, and I don't know why. It's not everything. It's just every so often they don't. And there. And there. Oh, no, no, no. Um, where to go? Oh, in there. All right, so... I should say this is one. Thank you. Uh, why did that not? Why didn't it that fire? Why doesn't it say? Those three. Three, get the button. Thank you. And it does not... Okay, something's wrong there, too. Thank you. 34. Ooh, I need a... Thank you. Three. Three, you are not doing right. Aren't you doing right? Goes to three. Three is set. Uh, are these not set right? Come on. Uh -huh. Three, four, five. Okay. Something has gone awry here. One, two, three, four, five. And all of these buttons come down and hit that and that. Okay, that, that works properly. So that one and that one. Okay. That hits the display and the button. The display and the button. And the display and the button. Okay. We told it three or two. Thank you. Okay. Let me tell this one four. Thank you. Tell this one three. Thank you. Tell this one four. Thank you. And we tell this one five four. Four. Three, thank you. Okay. Four. Uh, four. Huh. Okay, not the most reliable thing on Earth, is it? Huh. All right. Anyway. And we're going to set you to one. And click. So now it sets to one. Okay. And why are you not working properly? And we also need to set up a reason or a thing so if it doesn't or if it's a invalid number. Uh let's see here we could do this here and, and no not an and we're gonna go with an or. Fire all these into the ore. This. And. I think I want a not ore. Actually, an ore not would work great, but. Or not. So that will trigger if none of these are. None of these are active, so we're going to call that one that. So none of these are active, so that should fire. That should then trigger... Uh, actually, no, let's just have that fire back there. So if it's an invalid response, it just says enter a number, thank you. Thank you. Enter a number. Okay. 
so it doesn't do anything with an invalid response. All right, so we now have a fairly jerry-rigged, impressive looking, um, logic -y thing. So we want to go to floor three, hit the button, thank you. And nothing happens yet because we haven't worked out that logic, but we have set it up. So now it's set to floor three. And let's go back to the top because I think it was in this floor it wasn't working right. Thank you. Two. Not ah, working fine now. Don't know why. That's the scariest type of working fine. I don't know why. Hmm. All right, so I believe we're out of time for today, so we're going to actually have to leave the wiring up of the rail logic for next time. So all this mess. We finally got this worked out, we just need this mess, and we don't need this clock, which would probably make it better in the long run, so there's less logic nonsense going on. Okay. Enter floor 1 through 5, then press button if you just press the button. Yep, that is an invalid response. Actually, thank you. We're going to go ding. <laughs> ding. Ding. Until we get um, actual sound effects in the game. <laughs> Anywho, I've been JW608. This has been StarMate, and I will take you cats later.